Super quickie update. Let's see what the printers are eating. This ender is making one of those little gyro keychains. That's pretty neat. This is not something you say too often. I'm supersizing something on an ender too. This is the same keychain supersized. The A5 is printing a Christmas tree topper star. If I can get it to stick, the i3 Mega is printing a snowflake. Apparently the Ultra Base does not like the Zyro transparent filament. It's having difficulty sticking. Anybody know what this is? <laughs> it's gonna be big. This goes with it. Know what it is yet? How about this? What do you think that is? My printers will soon take less space. And that'll be interesting. And just for shiggles, I printed another little tiny micro Jolbot. This one in the 3D Fuel APLA Autumn Orange color that I love so much. One thing I noticed about the A5, the x-axis is very smooth. You can see how nice those fins are. The y-axis, however, is noisy. See the noise pattern in the fin? You can feel it. The bed vibrates a little bit as it moves back and forth, so the track is not smooth. So uh, it's not a big deal. It's only an extreme minor surface finish. You can see it right there. See how it's not perfectly smooth? That right there is part of the model. But you can see, like, unlike this one here, which is pretty darn smooth, that one there is not so smooth. I mean, it's straight, it's even, it's accurate, but there's noise. And that's because the bed is vibrating slightly, just a high-frequency vibration as it prints. So hopefully I can work on that. And this is an upgrade I designed for the Ender 2 and the CR-10. This allows me to use a very quiet 30 millimeter fan, which completely exposes the hot end. So now it's not being cooled, since you don't want it to be cooled, and you can actually see what the printer is doing. Here's an up close of the part I designed. Not too bad. I stole some stuff from a couple of different models and modified them. But the end result is this fits right over top of it. You just bolt it right on, you're done. And here's the duct. I had to design a fresh one of these too because the existing ones hung down too low. They scraped the bed. So that's a little nicer and this all prints without support and here's the fans. The part cooling fan and the 30 millimeter hot end fan from MakerGirlUSA.com. I got them off Amazon but you can get them from her too. And this is my first batch to convert my CR10s, possibly even the Tornado but that will require 24 volt fans. which. I got. So we shall see. Also, look at this. I got the new Micro Swiss 300 degree high temperature hot ends. I got the all metal and the flexible compatible version. The flexible compa compatible version has a PTFE tube in the cooling block, but it does not extend past the titanium heat break into the hot end so it is still 300 degree Celsius compatible since it will never ever get anywhere near those temperatures and this one's the straight all metal with no PTFE liner so I will be installing each of these on each of my CR 10 S's and we will go from there and see how they work this will take a while because I'm gonna have to actually test them but I've done micro Swiss before and I've never had a problem so I have high hopes here's something for you one of these was sliced with Simplified 3D, and one of them was sliced with Cura. I can barely tell the difference. There is a slight difference on this particular model. Cura actually does a better job, and I'm not sure why. But the difference is extremely subtle. Most people would never notice it. And here's something I'm not so sure about. See that little end right there? The eye hole? See how nice that came out? Cura did that. Simplify 3D always munges those. They do not come out good in Simplify 3D, and I am not sure why. As best I can tell, the settings are different. 
there's something different in the engine. On some things, Simplify 3D does better. For example, I think Simplify 3D does spiralize better. As far as supports, I got no problem with supports on Kira. It pops off just as easily as the Simplify supports do. I couldn't tell the difference. Although, that's one particular kind of support. I haven't tried more. But I don't know why I can't get that to come out well on Simplify 3D. There's another example of that. We little Marvins. For whatever reason, Kira does a significantly superior job on this little keychain hook. It's actually tangible and strong with Kira, but almost always useless in Simplify 3D. I mean, it's a slicing engine, so clearly there must be a way to adapt it to do this better, but Kira does it out of the box. I'm not sure why. I'm wondering if I've tweaked a setting in Simplify 3D that makes that a little harder for some reason, but Simplify 3D does a lot better job with these overhangs. They're much crisper in Simplify 3D than they are in Cura. That's all for now. The JG Aurora unboxing and setup and first print should be coming Wednesday. And by next week, I'll have my first thoughts after using it for a couple of hundred hours worth of printing. So, I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching. So, you made it to the end. You're brave. Not many make it to the end. So here's a special bonus for you. There's the camera. Right there. Arr, arr. Tell me what those two unknown models were. US only. I can't afford to ship anything overseas. <laughs> Sorry, I'll see if I can figure out a way to do it for overseas. But tell me what those two models were by tomorrow night. And I'll send this black roll of PLA to you for free. How about that? A little sneaky hidden giveaway. You guys have a good night.